Thank you. I don't usually do this standing up, but I'm going to try today. <laughs> if I don't make it, pick me up. Um, so uh, I have the pleasure of actually taking the whole summer off this year, um, which is really neat. Um, first time since high school that I had the summer off. Um, what's really great is I am riding horses six days a week. And I love it. Um, <clears throat> not all of them are mine. And um, yesterday, I got to ride this one beautiful, beautiful, stunning horse. And a friend of mine took my picture on this horse. And I got it back. And it was like, oh, my God. The colors are amazing, just amazing. But looks like I'm in the Smoky Mountains. And I'm not. I'm here in McHenry County. Um, and so I'm going to read two things. I, I, I don't know. I, maybe they're nature. Maybe they're protest poems. I don't know. You decide. But um, I hope that they don't make you feel depressed, but that you recognize it, that this, for me, is grief poetry. Okay? <clears throat> so the first one's called Global Warming in the Forest. I sat on a boulder at the bottom of a dry creek bed. Once, the creek had been at least six or seven feet deep where I sat. Once, fish swam in the steady current and nibbled at the moss-colored stones. Once, deer walked further down the worn creek ta trail to jump over the shallows. But I sat on a boulder looking at tree roots that reached out from the soil of the empty banks grasping and reaching for water, their thin branches looking like hands. And tiny snails' shells dotted the sandy shores of what used to be. Some people decry global warming. They turn away in disbelief. But the coyotes know the truth as they dig deep holes near the boulder's depth, praying, as coyotes do, with both forepaws pulling at the earth, hoping for a hidden spring. One could almost imagine them kneeling here, their whiskers wrinkled in worry, their throats drier than the silt that they clawed up into the wind today. <clears throat> and the next one I'm reading, because uh, Terry asked me to read it a couple months ago, and I wasn't ready to read it then, but it's still a nature kind of a poem, I think. Um, <clears throat> back in March, I had a routine mammogram that showed breast cancer, and I had surgery. And um, so this is where this poem comes from. Everything should be fine for for those who are wondering. <laughs> um, so it's called Cancer Question. People keep asking, am I going to change my diet now? I think we have not been loving to our Mother Earth. She is coughing and breathing the sick air too. The water from her breasts are poison now. Fish, whales, animals, and humans wash up on the sands of life, gasping. Her soil, once rich, is trying to produce one more healthy plant from her tired womb. But we have not loved her well. And I will keep drinking her water, breathing her air, and eating her fruit. I will hold her trees in my arms, knowing that she loved us and gave to us like any loving mother would until she had nothing left to give. I will hold her trees in my arms and kiss that rough bark, knowing that cancer really affects us all. That's all I have. <laughs> 